Hey guys, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, what I want to do is to take all of these images and I want to save them out. So there's a couple ways to do that, and let's get started. Let me show you how. Um, the first way is to go to the File menu, go down to Export, and then what I'm going to do is to create a layout. Okay, so what I could do is find a location, and if you click this button, it will open up a new window, and then what you can do is find out where it's going to go. And then I'm going to click over here in the file pattern and let me just put that as, you know, layout image because this is what you're going to call the actual file. Okay. So I'm going to call, I'm going to call it a layout image. Now I'm going to choose JPEG and I want to choose the original size that I have. This one is 1920 by 1080. Okay. You have some other options here as well. So if you want to, you can print the camera frames or not. Uh, I'll leave that selected. Um, export range, do I want all of my pictures or do I want some of them that are selected or do I just want the current one? And then should I open the folder after export? Yep. So let me hit export. So what's going to happen is it's going to export all of them and you're going to see what the layout image looks like. So if I just kind of click, uh, click on one of them, uh, here it is. I've got this nice large image that I could throw into Photoshop and do whatever I need to do. Okay, um, I'm going to click OK and let me uh, close this export box. Now, what if I wanted Storyboard Pro to put all of these together on a piece of paper for me or on a couple pieces of paper? Then I would do this technique, File Menu, Export, let's call this a PDF. And I have a lot of choices that are right here with how I can choose the layout for all of these um, storyboard panels. Um, in this box right here, you can basically choose what the name is going to be. Uh, so I'm going to just call it storyboard. And the other thing that I can do is I can go make my own. So if I want to, I'm going to add a plus sign. So let me hit that plus sign. Let's call it a two by two layout. And I can put a description and icon and all that other good stuff. And then what I could do is click all of these buttons right here and be able to figure out exactly what I want it to be. So, you know, I can, I can determine the number of rows and I can determine the number of columns. So in this case, I have a two by two. Okay. I'm going to click okay. And, um, now that that's set up, I should go select it. So here's my two by two layout and I could export all of the pieces, all of the drawings, or I could just select one or two. So let me just go hit the export button and then it's going to do its thing. Okay. So in a moment, it's going to open up in a separate file. And then here we go. We've got all of them um, already set up. So I think that's super convenient. Let me just shrink this. Actually, yeah, it's shrunk down. Now there's ways for you to go click around and get rid of some of this other information. Um, you know, for instance, if you just want images, there's a way to do it. Um, but you know, just go click around and in future videos, I'll show you how to, to omit all of this storyboard information. All right, guys, I hope that was helpful. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.